Now, everybody loves a brownie, and this brownie recipe has to be one of the best I've ever tried. And it's really simple. So we're gonna start off and get right on with it. So here I've got some really good quality, 70% plus plain chocolate. So I'm gonna put this into a bain-marie. Now, all a bain-marie is is a, a saucepan with a bowl, a heat-proof bowl, put on it with some water underneath it. And what it does is it allows it, sort of things to, to warm and melt in there without it being too abrasive. So I'm gonna just pop that in. Now into that, I'm going to add my butter. And you can just leave that and give it the odd stir every few seconds um, and just until it's melted. So then I'm gonna get on with lining my brownie tin. So beautiful square tin. Most of the time tins are non-stick, but I am gonna butter this just to be extra careful. And I'm actually also gonna line it with grease proof as well. But for that, that just sort of makes it a bit easier to take out. The great thing is the butter will allow it to stick. And I'm gonna do the same thing in the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna give my chocolate a stir. And that's melting nicely. And we can bring this over and you can see there that the chocolate's just beautifully melted. And you just really need to allow that to um, cool for about 10 minutes because we're gonna whisk some eggs into it. And if you do that with it hot, then the eggs will actually cook. So, I have a very handy mixer. You can use one of these, but using an electric whisk or even like hand beaters is totally fine. Um, but I'm gonna be lazy, do it this way. And how cool is this, frankly? I'm just gonna pour my chocolate and butter mixture into this bowl. So into there, we're gonna put our unrefined golden caster sugar. I'm a massive fan of Billington's. So I'm gonna switch that on and, and get that going and then I'm just gonna crack some eggs into it as I go. Okay, so that's perfect. So I'm just gonna take this out and you can see, I mean, just by looking at that, that's like a perfect gooey chocolate mixture and that's the base of our brownies. So we're gonna pop our dry ingredients into there. So I've got some sifted plain flour, some ground almonds, but actually you could use chopped, that'd be fine. And then finally, some vanilla extract. And then just get that back on and give it a quick whiz. You don't want to overbeat it at this stage because otherwise it will become too tough. So just until it's incorporated. And it's as simple as that. So now we're just going to fill our brownie dish. And then just spoon that out into the dish as well. And this is where I kind of would love you to have some smell of vision because it honestly smells insanely good. So, when you've got it all out, we're just going to flatten it out and just level it off, kind of like you're making a cake. So, when you're leveling it out, you just kind of want to scrape it around so it just sort of flattens out, but really don't feel like you've got to be totally exact because once it hits the oven, it will level itself out. So that's looking great. Now, we just need to get that in the oven about 170 degrees for 25 minutes or until you can sort of push. And there's a bit of pressure there, but it's not too firm. If I'm honest with you, the best brownies are a little bit undercooked. So it's been 25 minutes and the brownies are hopefully ready. And they are. I mean, that's exactly what we're looking for, which is a crumbly top. And if I put some pressure on it, it's sort of giving, but not so much. You can sort of feel the fudginess underneath it. 
and we just need to leave this to rest for about half an hour to an hour to cool down then we can take it out chop it into pieces and serve it up and there you have your perfect brownie